Good afternoon, Year 5, and welcome to your first music lesson of Lockdown Learning 2.0. Um, music could be quite interesting because some of our lessons were meant to involve uh, tuned instruments, which um, I'm not going to try to do because I don't have access to any here, and there will be lots of people at home who don't have access to them as well. Um, we are also using some untuned instruments. Um, which again, people might not have access to, but I am going to provide you with some options if you wanted to use them. But please make sure that you get permission from your parents first and that you choose an appropriate time for that. So um, if you want something that makes a more melodic sound, you could get a glass cup and a spoon. And if I play them together, you can hear that I get a bit of a, a sound which could work. If you want a slightly more robust sound, which I'm going to go for just because why not? Uh, I've gone for a frying pan with a wooden spoon. And the song that we're looking at today has a clave in it, uh, which is two wooden blocks that you normally put together. So I'm going to use the frying pan and the wooden spoon instead of that. So if you've got any of them at home, then please feel free to use them. You will look mad, um, but that's sort of the joy of it. So let me share my screen with you. Um, so we're going to start the music lesson off with looking at an example of one of our genres of music. So rhythm and blues is our main focus for this year. And today you are going to be listening to a song by Nat King Cole. So I'll put it onto the next slide. In the link, um, in the description part of the YouTube video, there is a link to the song. Have a listen to the song. Um, answer these questions on a piece of paper whilst you're listening to it. So what instruments can you hear? What does the song make you think of? How does it make you feel? What is the tone of the music? And any other thoughts or feelings or images that come into your head whilst you're listening? So pause the video, have a listen and think about what it makes you feel. Okay, um, we're going to look at some of the vocabulary that we're going to be using today. Um, so structure. So the structure of a song or a piece of music is um, it's basically its layout, it's how it's formed. It can be as simple as a beginning, a middle and an end. Sometimes, like in a story or like in a program, it will have um, more than one section to the middle as well. Um, a round. Now, if we were in school, we'd be looking at performing and singing rounds. Over YouTube, that is going to be a little bit trickier. So, um, but it's still useful because the example piece of music that we listen to will have a round in it. So we'll have a listen and we'll identify a round. Um, and meter. Meter is something that we're going to be able to use later on. It's the grouping of beats into twos, threes or fours. For example, um, a waltz, um, the beats are grouped into threes, whereas in marching music, it's uh, twos or fours. And that's sort of that links in with the rhythm of the music. That's the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That I tried to show you when we were doing music last half term. So let's have a look at some music. Let me share a different screen. Um, so first off, we're going to listen to a round. I will have the lyrics up on the board. Now, you may have to bear with me slightly here because my microphone's not working. I'm having to use this microphone, but it means that I'm having to play the music from another laptop and then move my microphone close to it. So it might not be uh, lined up perfectly, but I'm hoping that we will get this to work. So here is our song. Listen along. Um, go back afterwards and see if you want to have a go at singing along to one of the voices if you'd like. Don't wake the baby, ooh, ah. don't wake the baby, ooh, ah. don't wake the baby, don't wake the baby tonight. Listen to your mama, listen to your papa, listen to your brother, oh, don't wake the baby tonight. Then we go creep, creep, creep. Then we go creep, creep, creep. Then we go shh. Oh, so quiet. Ooh, don't wake the baby. Ooh, don't wake the baby. Ooh, don't wake the baby tonight. Listen to your mama. Don't wake the baby. 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 Don't wake the baby.
There we go. That's a different way of doing a music lesson, isn't it? So um, there is an example of a round. You can see that the three different singers are all singing the same lyrics, but at different times in each one. So um, we can pick up on their different uh, the different sounds that they are making. We've got different um, we've got whispering at the end, and we can see it's a lullaby. So it's quite soothing. It's quite calming. Now our second thing that we're going to look at would be something that if we had the chance to we would have used some um tuned instruments for this but because we only have access to our untuned instruments probably that's what we're going to focus on so we're going to listen to it again first and then we are going to have a look at how the um the music form is is laid out and where the different instruments come in and we're going to really focus on those untuned instruments that we might be able to use today so have a listen again and see if you can focus on what instruments you can hear and the tone of the music how it makes you feel again Okay, so that's called Brahms Lullaby. And if we have a look here at the notation for it, we can see that it is in a meter of three. So it's got one, two, three, one, two, three. It's quite slow because it's meant as a lullaby. Um, and that's why you get some quite soft instruments. So um, on our notation here, we can see three untuned instruments. We can see a triangle, which is played for one beat every four bars. We can see the claves, which are play, played on the second beat in every bar. And then we can see the sort of chimes that fade out at the end of the four bars. So we are going to follow along to what the clave is doing. Um, I will try to sort of show you and mouth one, two, three, so that you can get into that rhythm. But I'm also going to use my trusty makeshift clave and beater to play along with you. So hopefully you'll be able to pick up on where that beat is. Listen out for it as well. If you wanted to do the triangle, you could, but it's a bit less going on. So I will play that song again. I will leave this up on the board and hopefully this will be successful.
Hopefully you were able to follow along with the beats and try to uh, manage to keep up with that. As I said, a very different music lesson to what we would have done in school because we don't have access to those tuned um, instruments. If you wanted to have a go at making your own version of that performance, then please feel free to send that in to me as well. It would be amazing to see, uh, as much as anything else, whatever you've come up with as makeshift instruments. Um, Finally, for our music lesson, we'll have a recap of our vocabulary. So we've got structure, round, and meter. Have a go at seeing if you can remember what those are. Okay, so our structure um, might be as simple as a beginning, middle, and end. It's how the song is made up or a piece of music is made up. A round is where two or more instruments play the same music starting at different times. And the meter was the grouping of beats into twos, threes, or fours. For example, a waltz is in groups of threes. Marching music is normally in twos or fours. And Brahms' lullaby, which you just listened to, was in the meter of three. Um, I hope that you enjoyed that. And I hope that whatever you've used as an instrument hasn't got you in too much trouble. And maybe other people in your family have managed to get involved in joining as well. Please send me pictures or videos of whatever strange things you were using. Um, but well done. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it.